That was your first thing? Yeah. Dude, that was really the first cool. time I was on camera. Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang. Remember, I worked at a lot of different places. We, we had, oh, what, was the, what was the worst one? Um... I mean, I would, I pr probably, pr probably bowl more. I guess I can say that now. It <laughs> I doesn't say, exist I, I would imagine it would be the bowling alley. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. What, what, uh, it was, it was the bowl, it was the bowling alley nightclub. And I'll tell you why, because when I, when I, when I got hired to work there at the, as a cocktail waitress in the lanes, um, my first day, they, cause you had to, I don't know if you ever went there, but you had to wear, you had to wear like these kind of like slutty, like, outfits mm. you know the women did and then and then like fishnet tights and boots and these like little dresses or whatever and then the first day they were like oh congratulations like you're working at Bulmore. here's your outfit and here's your other outfit for the our private nightclub upstairs that you will also work at called pressure one night a week and i was oh, like excuse boy. me <laughs> that, didn't, that sounds uh, a little bit different than bowling pressure i was like i don't remember i don't remember signing up to work there but apparently how, that how was like a package was that deal uh, it was, that was more of a like vampirous, like, oh. like slutty, like black, like rat, like dress that had like weird, like rags coming off of it. I don't even oh, remember. Yes, that sounds like a set club. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> quite different than a bowling lane. <laughs> it was different. It was very different. Um, at yeah. that point, you might as well just go be like the cocktail waitress at the strip club and make a billion dollars more yeah, than at yeah, the fucking yeah, yeah, bowling yeah. alley. <laughs> No, but that's what I'm saying. I was, I, at a certain point I was like, fuck this. And yeah. I would just, yeah, you know, <laughs> go in the retail closet, drink my own alcohol, go <laughs> out in the lanes, <laughs> give everybody what they wanted. Hell yeah. Get out. Revolution, man. <laughs> but right. I mean, I know, I know girls as hostesses, you know, you can make fucking big money. You just have to tolerate like working a bounce yeah, and all yeah. these oh, places yeah. where it's like, you want to put a bullet in your head, but. Oh you're yeah, you're walking out of there with a lot of cash if you play your cards right. You're walking out with six hundred dollars in yeah. your pocket. You're like, all right, that was one. Night. And it's usually at a I time mean, it. where that means like the world to you, right? Like walking out for with that sure. Six hundred dollars in college that would last me a semester. Yeah. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. oh, That's yes, a right, lot. Right, no, right. no, I know. Yeah. That was me when I was in. I was working there probably right in college. I think I was in college still, the end of college. You were, and in, I was like, NYU, you can right? make this much money. Yeah. See, that's uh -huh. it's it's crazy being in college in manhattan you know because it's like it's hard to make it it's hard to live here when you're making like six figures let alone when you're a college kid you got to know every deal and every scheme dude scam, i know. You know were you, you do were you, you have a, to school were you a page when you were in college or was that after college no that was my first job after college after i graduated you did, can't be a page if you're in school because it's a full-time job oh right mm -hmm. that makes perfect sense yeah dude my, my you have only... to work seven you have to work seven days a week really or you used to Yes, dude. Some of my shifts were seven days a week. And I was like, how is this a week? How is this legal? But, dude, my my only yeah. knowledge of the page program comes from 30 Rock. And like, so I just picture everyone is Kenneth. But you you had like a didn't you <laughs> didn't you do like a guest spot on that? Weren't you a page? I was a yeah, no, that was a scam, actually. Scams. <laughs> I pulled I pulled that was I pulled a scam to get my SAG card because basically I was a page. And then I left the page program, kept my uniform, which you're not supposed to do. And then they were shooting, they were shooting the 30 rock pilot in the, in the building, obviously. And they were, they were just shooting the pot or was it the six episode? They were shooting the first season or whatever. And someone that I knew was working, working the casting and they were like, ah, oh, they, they need to like, they need a page. They need to cast someone to play a page to just do like three lines at the opening of the scene or whatever. I was like, just let me do it. I was like, I have my uniform. I, I just bring my own uniform. <laughs> I was like, we're good to go. Like, I know the, I know my lines because I know my fucking speech and whatever. And I was like, just put, just throw me in there. I'll do it. And uh, I just like was, you know, like harassing them. And they finally were like, all right, all right, do it, do it, do it. And then I, and then I did it. And then but because I was speaking on camera and it made it into the cut, I got my SAG card. I got into the union. Oh, and I was like, yeah. That, that was like yeah. your first thing. That was your first thing. Yeah. Dude, maybe that was the like, first time I was on camera. Maybe because I'm always watching, like I'm like, kind of perpetually watching 30 Rock. So like, I think of it as far more recent, but I, that like. That's I didn't have a character. That was like that was literally like I was basically like a glorified extra. I didn't. I never came. They didn't know who I was. I was nobody. Yeah. I just did one. I literally was just doing the actual speech that I normally give. I just made it on. I just made it onto the camera. I don't know. That's a great hustle. That's crazy. Yeah. What I mean, like, but you yeah. were gonna be an actress anyway, right? Like that was no, no, definitely. I was trying to be an. I was trying to be an actress. I was doing comedy at UCB and stuff, but 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I was just in that building all the time. I just kept getting different jobs in that building. I was an intern and <laughs> so like, many I'm different not departments. Leaving. I'm just going to be on one of <laughs> yeah. the floors here. Just fucking give me a job, guys. I'm not leaving. Seriously. I was. I was. Doing, I worked at all kinds of weird jobs Dude, in that building. The, the be there mentality has gotten me... A lot of we've things. Had, in we've life, had a few like, people here. I just happen to be here. So the the be here and I'm not leaving either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> we've had a couple of people get fired and they're just like, no, no, I, right. I, I, I will not. I'll be here tomorrow. And it's just like, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I try. You can't fire yeah. someone who doesn't want to be fired. Yeah, you're, like, right, you're not fine, making any money, but you're, you're still, still here. Until you, until you are making money. It's, <laughs> it's all a scam. What, what is my biggest scam? This fucking job. Yeah. yeah. Podcasting. <laughs> this, like, this whole world on the internet is a big scam. Right. It's all going to come crashing. I feel that way. So. Every movie I make, I'm like, I just pull, it always feels like we're, we just pulled off a scam. Really? Like a heist. Still like, at this yeah. point? Yeah. Because I can get indie that. movies. Yeah, I guess indie movies are like, you're doing it like this. Make sure you. Subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast, so that's it.